welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and today I'm going to be talking about my year of books in 2018. First of all, I'm going to quickly show you guys all the books that I read this year. I plan to read 25, yet I managed to only read 11. It's the 29th of December, so who knows? I'm reading a book right now, at least that's one book a month. Currently, I'm reading Winter Girls by Louise Halls Anderson. I am on page 102. I read It's Not a Summer Without You by Jenny Han. We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. Perfect by Cecilia Hearn. Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepherd. You're Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardiner. Highly Logical Behaviour by John Corey Whaley. The One by John Mars. New Boy by Tracy Chevalier. Secret Slave by Anna Rustin. I Heart New York by Lindsay Kelk. And A Cottage by the Sea by Carl Matthews. I think I had a pretty good reading year. Just going through all those books there and recollecting my ratings of them and my thoughts of them. Most of these books, apart from you know the ones about the worst books of 2018, you know, most of these books I thoroughly enjoyed reading out of time and really liked them. Like I gave it a lot of fours. So even though I haven't read that much books this year, the ones that I have read have been pretty good. So I'm very happy and pleased with that. Let's go on to my year and books and good reads now. I didn't even know this was a thing until I was watching Bookmarked and it's a booktube live stream and we were talking about you can go on Goodreads and see your gear in books. I have done that for 2018, but now I'm gonna go through it properly, sit through it and talk through it in the video and just see what's happening here. And next year I will plan my goal for 25 books again to be honest because I feel like that's a decent number and hopefully I will be motivated to do it. I feel like I start with it every year, I'm really motivated to get into reading and to hit my reading goals so hopefully by next year that motivation won't dwindle away and I will hit 25 because that would be really amazing. Alright so I read 3,483 pages across 11 books. Yeah sounds decent I don't know I don't think that's a high number obviously of pages because it's only 11 books and in my opinion I would have rather read more and then I think of booktubers like Zoe I think in her last year was saying she maybe read like 40,000 pages in that year I don't know and then I think oh I've only read 3,000 but that is a lot like it is a lot like you know what I mean I can't compare myself 3,000 is a lot of pages oh no not even if I speak while I make it to 4,000 but it's okay it's okay in Goodreads years 2017 was my highest year because I read 19 books the previous year was 36 books because that was three books a month that I planned to read and I read 19 last year okay even though I've read higher now when I was like 12 by the way just saying because I was 12 I read books every single day I read 6,681 pages last year you know what this year 2019 I'm gonna reach 10,000 pages. Let's make that go. I don't understand. But I'm not doing the math clearly in my head right now. 10,000 is just the next big number I'm thinking of. But I don't know how many books that would be. The shortest book I read this year was New Boy by Tracy Chevalier. This book is so good. I, I think I rated it like five or four out of five. It's a fellow retelling and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I read it really, really quickly because of course it's a short book as well. This is 188 pages and the longest book I read was one of my worst books of the year, A Cottage by the Sea by Carl Matthews. I love how one of my worst books of the year is one of the longest books as well. Like I had to endure so much more of it than my other favorite books of the year. Um, but it's all good, I don't know. 437 pages. I feel like it's not too huge because the writing is quite big so I feel like you can just like flip for it. My average length of books was 316 pages. Quite decent. So I didn't read two short books. 300 over 300 pages is like a medium size legit kind of book. I definitely count like anything within the 200 mark. Even 299 I feel like I'd count it as like a short book. The most popular book I read this year was Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard and that is no surprise because of course this is a huge TV show and I really am interested in reading the series. I actually have the second book on my shelf right now. People on booktube read them when they were younger or some of them in the series when they were younger but it interests us fade it out. That's what it seems like to me from like book videos that I've watched talking about the Pretty Little Liars series and obviously it is more known now for a TV series and I personally watched a TV series as well, like twice. I'm really curious as well as how the book series stands up next to this TV series and the difference is the least popular book I read this year was Secret Slave by Anna Rustin and I got it as Alice's I Don't Know, maybe it's more of a UK book, I don't really know. This is a really sad story and it's a true story about a girl who's kidnapped for 13 years. So 100,000 people, nearly 200,000 people also read Pretty Little Liars and 2,766 people read Secret Slave. The average rating for 2018 is 4.0. That is amazing. The highest rate on Goodreads is Secret Slave by Anna Rustin. So even if this is the least popular, it's the highest rated. So yeah, I can see how that can be the highest rated. This one is rated 4.07 Secret Slave 
out of five on Goodreads. My first review of the year was A Cottage by the Sea by Carl Matthews and I just gave it two stars on Goodreads and in the review I put 2.5. I've done 44% of my reading challenge. It says, so there's still two days left, you can do it. Well, thank you for her optimism, um, Goodreads. Thank you for believing in me, but I don't think I can read 14 books in two days. But, but thanks, anyway, thanks for trying. Let's talk about some goals. My goal, of course, I said, is to read 25 books next year. Let's hope I actually make that. That would be so amazing that I'd be so proud. My goal is to get more into books about mental health, for example. I've read one book of mental health this year already. I mean, I've been onto this one. I've really seen people's perspectives from different mental health point of views. For example, this girl in this book has struggled with anorexia. And just to read from most different point of views, I think would be really educational and insightful to see from a perspective, even if it's fictional characters, of course. Hopefully getting some sort of accurate representation of what different mental health can be like for different people. Hopefully also the fiction as well, it will be as accurate as it can be with mental health. Also more books on my crime thrillery stuff because I was getting more into that like in October time and I bought quite a few crime thrillery like mysterious books that I've been interested in and I do want to read. The one by John Mars was one of them even though it wasn't scary at all or anything like that. It was a serial killer in it though and it was interesting to read from that perspective and I wanted to read more books like this so I hope to get into more books like that. And of course get down my TBR. I made a TBR pile video if you want to click me down below. I have 30 unread books on my shelf which is good because I remember for 2017 I done a book team on my channel and it was 48 books so now I have 30 books I'm very glad as well I think another goal should be for me as well really to unhaul a lot of the books I don't want to read anymore which is a lot on my bookshelf that I've left for years and really doesn't hold my interest as one of the books that I might have picked up at the time because it was cheap or kind of seemed appealing and never really had my interest and to get into books that I have been interested in for a while or to really just get down through my TBR on my bookshelf and to upload more onto booktube now and then I'll put book videos on this channel because I have a main channel called Rose Oreo where I upload uploaded every week but I have been not motivated for my main channel at all and recently I've been really inspired to start uploading actual booktube content so I want to for now upload and focus mainly on this channel who knows how long it'll last or what will happen with it but in 2019 I do inspire to upload a video at least every week. Talking to other people in the community, again, friends in the community, because I never have, I loved watching booktubers in the community, but I've never tried to gain friends. Or did I create myself well inspire me to read more, I think. And it will inspire me to, of course, watch more booktube videos and booktube videos inspire me to read. So hopefully I can get up some content on here and just see how it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is my 2018 year in books and my goals and resolutions and that to do with books for next year. Tell me down below one of your reading goals for next year and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys next time. Bye! I'm about to change your life. And by all means, leave.